Hey guys, it's the Crafty Prepper. This is a project I've been working on lately. It's my getaway, my bug out bike, I don't know, buggy? It's a, um, a, a welding cart. I got it Harbor Freight and just, you know, laid it down and flipped the handle over and, um, that end would hook to your bike some way that's the part i really have to figure out because you know i tried it like a wrapping a bungee cord and um you know you might have guessed that doesn't work very good when you hit the brakes and it just slides up and down the handle there i need something that like i need something welded i think that sits that attaches like securely right on this part and then has a swivel thing that would hook at the bar underneath my bicycle seat but this is only if you had to evacuate or something and cars didn't work anymore so you had to you know either hoof it or bike it and uh, if cars did work you could just take this whole tote and throw it in the back of the car along with your bug out bag and you know maybe a couple other things but so this is my idea to have this already packed with some food some basic food supplies and emergency supplies and that I could just throw a couple jugs of water in and um, just go so I wouldn't really have to think about it so I have it out here on the kitchen table let me come around and show you sorry Anyway, these are the things that I have in it. I'll show you. So I have like basic cooking things that you could do a lot of different um, preparations with. So I have some pinto beans and rice, and um, everybody knows rice and beans go well together. Uh, I, I put it in this two liter bottle and I'm going to tell you if you are packing rice and want to get the most you can, just keep like tapping it on the table and packing it down because if you squeeze and it's got some give, there's more room because the, the little things of rice will flip around and pack in really tight and like now there's no give so, and I got a lot of rice in there. And I got some, I think they're dehydrated vegetables which you could add in for variety of your soup and all and then I've got oatmeal for breakfast also I've got some whole eggs which can be used in baking or you can make scrambled eggs for breakfast some powdered milk which you can put in your oatmeal to make it creamier you can just drink it if you like to you can use it for in baking I have um, some flour and sugar and in these I put a couple bay leaves that I saw that on Michigan Snow Pony's channel that it keeps the bugs away. I have bay leaves in my pantry and stuff too. And baking soda powder, baking soda, salt. Um, really important, a can opener. <laughs> if you have stocked up on number 10 cans, you know that you have to have a can opener. There's, it's not a pop top. So, Make sure you have a can opener and a backup can opener, probably. Then I have some dehydrated onions and beef and chicken bouillon for some more variety over here, too. Oh, I was going to say, with the flour, sugar, baking soda, salt, and powder, you can do a lot of different things. It depends if you end up somewhere where you are you have to cook on a campfire or not, but you can make tortillas, biscuits. Sort of um, breads, buns, probably um, with the egg and the flour. You can make pasta if you're really creative. There's just a, a bunch of different things you can do with just these basic food items. And then I have a first aid kit. I bought this box at the um, Army Navy surplus, and I've packed it slap full with all the things that you would need in an emergency, like. There's um, antihistamines and aspirin and um, antibiotic ointment and bandages, band-aids, cold packs, super glue, 
you know, the, the stuff we use at the urgent care is just sterile super glue. One of the doctors told me, so I packed some super glue in there to, you know, glue a cut. It burns like fire, but it will hold your cut together. If you use super glue to glue your cut together in an emergency situation only, I'm not recommending that, I guess I should say. Don't put any polysporin or neosporin over top of that because it will melt. I watched it melt the glue or the derma bond is what we, we have at work. Then you always need duct tape. I've got matches, lighters, ferro rods, emergency candles of different varieties. I have a tire pump to pump the tires on that little cart and on my bike if I need to. I have a couple siphons because I watch too much Walking Dead and and I have dreams of, you know, a zombie apocalypse where I find a shiny brand new fancy car every season to drive and there's always a sea of crappy cars I could siphon gas out of or... <laughs> Sorry. For real, you can siphon water if you come across a water source that's too heavy for you to like, pick up and, and dump. You can siphon some water out and then, of course, purify it and all. Also, the big rubber, Rubbermaid tote, if you get to a place you feel you're safe and you can unpack everything out of the tote and make you a little camp or something or wherever you end up, the Rubbermaid tote can be used as a rain collector to help collect you some water and stuff like that. So, I think it's a good idea. It's still a work in progress for me, but it's something I'm excited about. And I wanted to show you what, what I've thought up so far. If you have some other ideas, um, let me know. Um, my plan is to have this stuff already in there. And then if there's an emergency where you have to evacuate, whether by car or bike, I could throw a few jugs of water in it and some extra clothes and grab my bug out bag and just be ready to go already. Oh, also I almost forgot uh, a little flash drive with um, pictures of like my birth certificate and the title for my car and I guess your house deed papers and things like that have that already too so that's it that's my idea let me know if you got um some things that you would add to it if you have a better idea of a way that i could hook that cart to my bike without because i don't know a welder so i'm just kind of on my own to figure something out so let me know what you think take care guys